Hello everybody, today I'm going to be trying a new game. Uh, this game is called Plutocracy. Now Plutocracy is in early access still. It's still very much under development so we're not looking at a complete game yet. As you can see a lot of this is uh, locked. Um, so we're going to be playing a sandbox session. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a character to play. Um, I'm going to just choose a pre-made character. Uh, so we've got this Justin, uh, no, Julian Lett guy. Um, I can't be a Republican. Uh, a non-partisan. Hmm. Democrat. Um, and let's say he's university educated. So we're going to be playing as uh, this guy. Julian uh, and our settings we're gonna play in a small world we're gonna be a small fish we we'll start from the bottom and I guess we'll have an opponent opponent I'm gonna set the end year to the longest just to give me time to uh, play around with the game and the win condition is gonna be <laughs> well wow to become the wealthiest individual character in the USA. So, um, the whole purpose of this game is to become the richest person in the country. Uh, so, pretty, pretty simple <laughs> uh, goal, uh, but incredibly hard to pull off. Um, I am really bad at this game uh, so far. Um, So we start off with a uh, hundred thousand. Uh, I'm not gonna have the tutorial on. We start off with a uh, hundred thousand dollars, and we need to uh, invest our money in order to make more money. This is our lovely office, and there are several things here that we can do. We can interact with it. So this is our lovely portrait. Uh, this shows us our connections, who we know. This is our skills. This is our bookcase. So if we click on here, these are all the different things we can learn about. So we can learn about trading, psychology, grants, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've got our balance sheet, everything we're earning. At the moment, we're not earning anything and we're actually um, losing money. So if we do nothing, we will just lose the game just through uh, this random maintenance charge. So this maintenance charge, I guess, is just like our personal upkeep, cost of living, um, etc. Um, what else do we have that we can play around with? We've got collectibles. So every now and again, there'll be an auction uh, and we can try and buy collectibles. We could buy things and try and sell them on to make money. Or we can buy them just to increase our influence. Our um, influence increases with... Um, the amount of stuff we own as far as I can tell um, and I guess this is quite the important one is the map now I didn't really see where we start out uh, but it looks like we're starting in Alabama um, these are the companies that currently operate in Alabama we can invest in these companies and try and make money that way um, so you've got transport companies, metallurgists, oil refining, mining, uh, and this oil production. I don't think there's any more, there might be. Uh, we can invest in a company in order to make money. Um, but at the moment, we don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, these shareholders um, have a lot of cash in order to um, own big portions of these companies uh, so our hundred thousand pounds won't or dollars won't get us a lot of money so investing in these big companies um, up front probably isn't going to be the best thing for us to do uh, we can when we get really rich we can invest in museums and theaters and hospitals and stuff like that and that'll um, increase our renown which i think is this thing i've never had renown over zero 
um, in the couple of little plays that I've done. So I've no idea <laughs> really what that does. Uh, we've got uh, laws. Again, no idea what this is. Legislated later. Um, this is sort of like a politics um, part of the game. Again, not really got into it yet, but that's kind of like half of the game. Um, so we will want to uh, try and increase our money. And I think the first thing we should do, oh, I don't know if this is the right state to be in. Uh, the first thing we should do is have a look uh, to see if anybody wants to borrow any money from us. So one way to make money is to, to loan, loan it out to people. So um, we come over here to the person search and we have a look at the ambitions and we can filter people's ambitions to uh, those who want a loan and we can also filter to doable actions which means we have the money to give them a loan. Uh, we also then need to make sure we're in the right state. Um, so let's have a look at Alabama. So these are all people who are in Alabama that want a loan that we can supply. So our job really now is to find a loan that we can we can give out to somebody that's got a good enough return without being too risky. So uh, we're currently looking at all the people who need a loan. So this guy wants um, a loan of 12k, four quarters and is going to pay 7% interest rate and there's an 8% chance that he won't pay the loan back so that's quite a good um, deal I think so we're going to come over here to our ambition we're going to accept the loan or we're going to give the guy a loan and when, when we um, grant somebody's desire to get a loan they will give us gratitude um, these guys uh, are quite handy so these are characters that will do actions for you um, I don't really want a goon so I'm gonna ignore that and I'm just gonna try and make this guy more loyal to me so he kind of like likes us because we've given him a loan so we've given out some of our money we've got some to spare so I'm gonna keep looking through uh, this person wants a loan at 14k for three quarters at 11% risk so I think that's fine um, and I'm just going to keep increasing loyalty so we'll do that again 16% 19% 15% 12% 25k maybe a bit of a risk 9% uh, 2 quarters yeah that's pretty good so we'll give that person a loan uh, we're at 44 15, 19, 10, four quarters. Let's give this fine gent a loan. And we'll increase his loyalty as well. Uh, and we've got 25k left. So, any small loans? 17k, 13 for two quarters, 16 for four. Let's do a couple of small loans now, so that if uh, if we don't pay back, it's not going to be too much of a bad thing. And we got an achievement for granting these people's wishes, so we've earned a star, and that's actually really good for us because we can uh, come back to our office and go to skills, and we can invest that star in one of these things. I, I, and I've got really no idea what the best. Uh, thing is at the moment um, but I do like this maintenance bit <laughs> because it will uh, reduce the the costs that the player has to endure um, but this psychology one might be good too because it reduces um, the influence cost for negotiating and negotiating is something we're gonna have to do a bit later on if we want to um, get into a business um, 
and there's something else that we might want to look at uh, reduced taxes might be nice but I don't know if we're paying any we're not paying any taxes so that doesn't matter uh, uh, loans planning laws etiquette grants eloquence increase the number of rounds when negotiating uh, so I think what I'm going to do for, for now is just to decrease the um, the amount I'm going to have to pay on a regular basis so we can see our, our expenses have gone down from 2k to 1.7k so that's that's good in my book and we've got a little bit of money left so let's see if we can give out any more loans so this is 11k this is 7k for three yeah that's quite a decent one hopefully they'll pay it back so uh, here and we've run out of money we can no longer give anybody any loans we're projected to make money um, from loan repayments and we're looking at the moment of an ROI return on of investment of 4.514% uh, and $4,000 uh, $4, so everything is looking good at the moment um, obviously they might renege and not repay their loans uh, I'm gonna go to three times speed and the game seems to run in uh, oh gosh we've made an enemy Connor Jackson uh, so this is our opponent so this person is gonna actively try and undermine us um, in becoming uh, the richest person in America so it's good to good to keep an eye on them um, I'm gonna uh, go on three times speed and we will uh, run so the game works in quarters uh, there's a lot of little pop-ups here that I, I don't tend to pay attention to this is an auction so uh, it looks like Jack Daniels <laughs> uh, it's cognac though uh, starting price 10k market price 15k we don't have 10k to spend so I'm gonna say no to that um, yes yeah, so the game runs in quarters and at the end of the quarter we will find out if we've made any money or not uh, you get this loading screen sort of at the end of every quarter at the moment um, so we did make a little bit of money uh, at the moment nobody has failed to repay a loan so everything is looking uh, fine we can see if we can afford to give out another loan and we can so this person 90% risk 8% risk 6k loan so let's do that okay don't want to saboteur so we'll try and improve influence and we'll let the game run again uh, what's this uh, no we haven't got enough money we only got $500 uh, so I'm gonna ignore all of these uh, things for now um, and let that run to the next quarter it is interesting to see what's coming up a watch £56,000 for a pocket watch must be a nice watch what's this one? Oh, this is the watch again okay let's let the game run and reach the end of the quarter see if we made any money uh, right cool so we've made some cash let's have a look at this so this guy has returned the, lo the loan 29k back very good and uh, this guy has also repaid the loan uh, 13k very very good so we have some money again so we're back up to 46 grand and if we have a look at our finances our net worth is it's gone up very slightly so when we started the game we had a hundred thousand dollars now we're on a hundred and seven thousand so uh, we can give out another loan uh, so this person 13k up 13% risk how do they do it let's uh, be risky uh, 15 18 19 
18, 15, more risky now, 19, 8%. Beautiful. So you don't you don't make a lot of money off these individually. Um, that's all we can do for now. Uh, but you do make a little bit of money. Uh, the important thing, I guess, is to just try not to become bankrupt and don't take bad loans. If you take bad loans, then you will lose all of your money and you will have to start the game again. And that that's a very possible thing that could happen uh, to us uh, when we play this. So what have we got? We've now got 16,000. Let's have a look. Ah, so look, it's happened already. So this guy has refused to pay his loan. Um, so I've got got to keep an eye on this guy. It's Brandon Taylor. Um, if we get a uh, a debt collector, they might be able to go and bust this guy's door down and get our money back. Um, but this person, they return their loan, so that's fine. Uh, and this person's refused to pay as well. So this isn't looking good for us. So I, we've got some bad debt on the books now. Uh, so if we have a look at our finances again. We've got these two uh, two bad debts. So this is money that we're never, ever going to get back um, unless we send a guy around. And, and the guy I'm talking about is this guy. He's the collector. He's basically a thug who's going to go around and basically knock on the door and uh, collect money. Um, we haven't got uh, him at the moment. He's locked to us. Uh, so we need to try and get... Um, get him on our books before we can we can send him around to collect those bad debts so for now I guess we need to just have a look at some low um, low risk small loans because if they default it's not going to be too hurtful for us now these ratings aren't looking great I'm not happy with them Ideally, I'd want something around, more around the 10% mark uh, in terms of risk. But these are looking pretty high. 15% is what we're talking. That's 16 grand. That's 15 grand. Okay. And I lend to this guy. And I don't know if this is the best way. Aha! Now we've got a debt collector. Brilliant. So I can go and send him around to knock on one of these guys' doors. But let's check who's our biggest loan out to at the moment so that was a 14k loan we've got a 19k loan there this is a 27k so we want to make sure that adam coleman um returns his loan and if he if he does then everything's gravy if not we'll probably want to send the guy around to knock on his door um and get that loan back so, so there, yeah this this is this at the moment is basically just loan shark simulator uh, I'm just uh, lending money to people at extortionate prices and if they uh, if they don't pay I'm going to send a guy around to knock their door down so there's that <laughs> like I said I don't know if this is the best way to make money in this game but uh, it is a way to make money uh, look at that we've we've definitely got some money back so who's paid their loan so both of these guys have repaid their loans so that's 12k and 19k so that's good very happy about that so that means we've got 39k in the bank and our current net worth 113 now remember some of that is bad debt at the moment so we've got these two two people with bad debt um, so not very happy about that but let's uh let's continue i'm not going to loan that out at the moment because we are still bringing in some money um for our loans let's have a look at this auction what's for sale a flint gun wow 69k too much for us to uh to bid on so we can't do that we might want to bid on one of these items oh it's the end of the quarter so let's see if we've got Ah, yeah, so this guy's returned his loan as well. So that's 15k. So we're back up to 52. Um, I'm still watching these guys. Still, still watching Seth. You owe me 6k, buddy. 
And Brandon, you owe me 14. Oof. What a scallywag. Right. Um, not bringing in as much interest money now, but we've got an auction here. And it's that watch again. So, we could bid on this watch. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. We've been outpaced. <laughs> we've been outpaced quickly. <laughs> so, maybe we're not going to be buying a watch anytime soon. Um, but that's fine. Why are we in the world map? I don't know. Let's come back and... Mm, 50k, 19% risk. 19... Oh dear, oh dear. These people are really risky. Hmm. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll save uh, save my money for now. Uh, I'll play through to the next quarter and see if we can get uh, some of that uh, debt back. What's this? Cigars! Oh, this is more in our price range. Let's see if we can... Uh... I'm going to just do that. Let's turn the speed down and see if that changes the auction speed. Ah, oh, they've outbid me already. Oh no. Aha! I think we've got the for 21k. Great. So the market price for these cigarettes is 23,000. So hopefully we'll be able to sell those to somebody else. At the moment though, I think this is just improving our influence. So because we own these fancy cigars, people think we're a bit more influential. They respect us a bit more. Um, but what we might want to do is find a buyer. So we can have a look at uh, the person search again. Change this ambition to uh, items. And we want them to buy alcohol and cigarettes in Alabama. And we can see there's quite a lot of people who actually want to buy alcohol and cigarettes in Alabama. Um, so let's have a look. So this person will buy, but they'll buy at a loss. So we don't want to sell to her. This person will also sell at a loss. I wonder if my cigarettes aren't worth what I paid for them. <laughs> Probably a 5k loss, I'm not doing that. Jeez. Okay, what about this person? Uh, ambition. 5k loss, oh my goodness. Nobody wants to pay the asking price for these cigarettes. Ambition. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I've, I've bought the most expensive cigarettes in the world and I'm not going to be able to get rid of them. Jeez. Okay. Well, um, I think uh, that on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this has been a nice uh, intro to... Uh, to plutocracy um i guess uh come back for the uh for the for the next episode if i make a next episode to find out if uh if i ever sell those cigarettes if i ever make any money on them and if i ever collect on those bad debts i've got a thing for uh where's where's the guy where is he where's my here you I want to come and knock, knock, knock on your door, buddy. I need my money back. You've got 14k of mine, and I'm not happy about it. I might let the 6k slide, but that 14k, whew, that's, that's a lot of money, man. You're going to be sending the guy around to knock, knock down your door. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Uh, until next time, everybody, thank you, for, thank you for joining. Do leave a comment or a like if you do like the video. Uh, and come back uh, uh, for more and find out if we ever do make money and we get rid of those stinking cigarettes. Well, until next time, goodbye.